Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unboxing to do today. Well, it's a box in a bag. And this has come to me from the lovely people at paintsomeway.com. Um, I've had quite a few packages from them in the past and I've loved them. So I've got some new products today. So let's see what we got. Ooh, can't wait to see, can't wait to see. That's the box, that's the box. Oh, it's got a little bit crushed, but as long as what's inside is okay, that's fine. Uh, oh, we've got a little Liz Quirky find. And a diamond painting. Yay! Okay, so we have some special offers on at uh, paintsomeway.com at the moment. If you buy one item, there is 8% off and then there's varying different increments. So. Uh, up to 23% off, but the one I liked was if you buy 10. <laughs> you get 20% off. So, and I mean, how easy is it to put 10 things in your basket when you're looking on a diamond painting site? Oh dear. Anyway, <laughs> um, and if you spend over $30, you get a free gift as well. And there is an offer on postage. So as I say, I'll put screenshots in, but I want to get and have a look at these. So we'll have a look at that one last. And actually, I'm going to look at Quirky after a minute as well. But I want to see this because this is brand new. Um, I've only just seen them starting to come out. There is quite a few different ones to see. And it's a tumbler, a diamond painting tumbler. There is actually one that's Starry Night, but aha, uh -huh, I didn't get that one. I don't think I got that one anyway. Let me just see what we got so yeah i've got the beach scene one look and i just thought how great is that i mean fantastic for presents for people um i would say they're not going to be dishwasher safe they're going to be hand wash only and oh oh it's well and truly packed in there so i don't think we're going to have any problems with uh, damage or anything because that is a nice although it's to say taking a bit of a beat in the box as you can see but as long as it's done its job, that's fine. That's what we need it to do. So we have our drinks tumbler with a nice screw lid there. So that's just going to screw on there nicely. It's got a little bit of a lip there so it can help you take it off as well. And we've got an open and close. Yep, so we've got the little air hole there. You're not going to be uh, drinking and it suddenly all splatter at you because you've got your little air hole to still let the air in. So, yeah, we don't want any accidents. So that will close there. Right, so let's see how this works. So we've got a plastic bag. And oh, look, we've got a drill that's wanting to get it on it already. So does this... Oh, yeah. Oh, look. Aha, I did wonder how this worked. So that's your plastic tumbler bit. Ah, now then. So actually, if you're wanting to wash it, you're not going to have to touch your diamond painting because your diamond painting is going to be on here and you can just take the middle out to wash it. As I say, I wouldn't think it's dishwasher safe. Does it tell us anywhere? Um, 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 um. No, it doesn't say so. I mean, to be fair, a lot of these like uh, novelty cups and things, the ones that you get from food outlets and things like that tend to be uh, yeah, hand wash. But because that comes out separately, I think that's an excellent idea. I don't think we stick it onto here, do we? What does the uh, destructions say? Yeah, it goes on the edge. So, let me, uh, oh, let's have a look at the picture first getting ahead of myself doing a bit of DIY so actually this is like a nice strong plastic as well it's not canvas it's like um the material you would make oh table mats out of quite a thickish plastic and I just thought it was a nice summery beach scene so I'm going to be using this outside most likely or in the car so I thought yeah we'll have a nice summery beach scene so quite a few different designs uh, so we've got some surfboards, never been surfing in my life, the granddaughters go surfing, uh, but it's just not something that I've ever done. Um, I have enough trouble standing on my legs, so I don't think I'm going to be able to stand up on something in water. 
could never roller skate either but that's a whole other story uh we've got our deck chair i know to put a deck chair up though i may not be able to surf but i can uh, put a deck chair up <laughs> we've got our nice fresh fruit look on the uh, beach towel we've got a little starfish we've got our flip-flops uh, a nice blow up beach ball a uh, couple of little i don't know whether they're stars or just toys our beach umbrella i would definitely need that because i'm very uh, fair skinned so i never tan i just end up looking like a tomato uh, when i've been out in the sun or a lobster whichever no i tend to go very very red i'm not lobster pink i'm tomato red when i go out in the sun and a uh, life boy as well okay so let's have a look let's have a look so we need to diamond paint this first obviously seal it now sealers do tend to be water based so they would come off if you put them in water i'm just wondering maybe if you used a very fine resin layer over the top as long as it didn't melt the plastic might have to do a bit of experimenting because i am looking at a project um where i can use some uv resin i've just got a little idea that i want to do um a uv resin is the one where it hardens under a uv light or in sunlight we never get sunlight here so i've got a uv light anyway uh so yeah i wonder if you just put a, a light coating of resin over it and you then you'd have to make sure that it was round all the time otherwise the resin's going to set hard and you're not going to be able to bend it this might take a little bit of thinking out, but I'm just trying to think what would be waterproof. Possibly varnish, but again, that's likely to crack. So, hmm, okay. Well, I have to have a good think about this one. So we do the diamond painting bit. We place the diamonds, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then into the cup and insert the liner. Okay, so we are just literally putting this into here oops it just fits in oh, it's a nice snug fit as well uh, once it's got your gems on yeah you're definitely going to need to seal it because otherwise uh, when you put it over the top it's uh, when you put it over the top it's likely to move your gems i think i've just put that slightly the wrong way so it needs to go that way look i mean you could seal it if you wanted to um just put a little bit of very strong tape along there if you've got any of the red liner tape um then that's a nice strong one so that just goes in there and then your cup goes over the top there and screws into place and then your lid goes on so i like that idea I do like that idea. I say I was worried about oh, what you're going to do trying to wash it. Go me being all housewife and wanting to wash something and make sure it's hygienic. <laughs> but yeah, but that's excellent because you can just uh, get that out, hand wash it and then reuse it. Yeah, just make sure it's really dry before you put it back in. Um, oops, <laughs> it's alive, it's alive. But I just thought these were brilliant. Oh, I'm definitely going to get some more of these. Now I know what they're like. Um, and how they work and this one was ten dollars 99 um which you know is a a little bit high maybe for a cup and how much it holds i would think probably about a pint do you think or do you think it'd be maybe a 330 mil can you know the uh like standard cans that we get here in the uk are 330 milliliters i think it will probably hold a can i might have to have a play and let you know about that one uh so yeah so that will then just uh, seal onto there it's got a nice good screw top as well yeah and you've got your little i don't know quite sure is that just for taking it off or is that sort of to hold oh no it's a funny place to hold it isn't it because if it was on the back, you'd think of holding it. But, uh, okay, yeah. But I do like my nice summery design and the way it all goes round. Okay, hmm, liking that. So we've got our standard toolkit again. Oh, they've sent me the trash look, the little bit of red stuff. <laughs> That's the seal off the bag. Thank you very much. Uh, a couple of little grip seal bags as well. So let's see what drills we've got. They all look very happy and sparkly colours. I've uh, got my woolly pulley on today, my little cardigan, because it's a little bit chilly today. 
today can you believe i can't believe it we've had some really really fantastic hot days and for whatever reason today it's chilly albeit they said today is going to be the hottest day so far this month but oh dear what do i know oh there's a lot of colors right so we have a 15 different colors all very nice bright beachy scenes let's put it that way look. let's look at the humber hour and the deck chair yeah we'll think that we're on that deck chair looking out over that beach well it's miserable outside <laughs> and strangely enough we start off with a grey <laughs> oh dear yes it's very grey today so then we've got a nice red and a peach and a lovely bright yellow and a cherry red and a couple of greens to complement each other and a pale orange and a lovely pale blue i think that's going to be the sea and then like a rusty color and a very sea blue with a little bit more aqua -y color nearly didn't get that out then uh, and then a little bit of a very pale yellow and a little another bit another little bit of a rust and a bright white at the end i think i was towel is going to be yes it is it's going to be a green and white stripes very nice and fresh and beachy looking and then i say we've got our surfboards at the end there okay so yeah i'm really pleased with this i'm glad i got it uh, i'm glad i know how to clean it <laughs> yeah i mean to be fair if it hadn't have uh, all come apart to be cleaned then i would have probably just used it as a pen holder or something or found some way to clean it but uh, yeah so actually normal sealer probably will work um rather than so you can i might oh, i don't know if i'll try the resin or not but i think i might get a few of these because i can think they'll make a fantastic presents and uh, yeah either done or for people to do themselves i'm sure the uh, grandkids would like to have a go at doing one of these might even let them choose their own design what can i say so that's our lovely a beach cup we'll pop that over there very nice. Oh, let's give it a quick measure. So I will uh, see if I can put some water in it and I'll let you know how much water it holds. I don't know why we're quite back on this tape measure. I must have put my Scotty dog down somewhere. Okay, so we are about 16 and a half centimetres. And I'll do the top measurement. You never know, you might want to know. Uh, eight centimetres, which is three and a quarter inches. Uh, didn't know that one in inches did i silly liz inches it's six and a half inches and then we'll just do around we'll do around the middle so it's sort of like the midway point oh nobody likes having the waist measured well i don't anyway i'd have to get a long tape measure to do my waist ha 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 so it's about 23 ish centimeters which is about nine inches so it varies from the top to bottom obviously because it sort of graduates up to the top but yeah i think that's fab absolutely love that nice plastics obviously just be careful don't drop them because you know they are plastic at the end of the day or acrylic as it's called these days uh but yeah no there's no marks or anything on the bottom that's just a little bit of extra um fluff there that it's caught up on but no that's fine okay so i love that absolutely love that okay so let's have a look at our Liz Clerky. Oh, look, there's that gem look that wanted to go on the cup already. Let's just pop him in with his friends for now. <laughs> okay, so this was just a new diamond painting tray that I kept, that came out. And I just, oh, quite like that. It's a nice, uh, fresh green colour. I think there was different colours as well. If I can get into it. I struggle like this Liz just get a pair of scissors and let it free <laughs> what is the point of faffing about with a pair with uh, little openings when you know you can't do them oh that's different oh I like that look at that all oh, right the little stopper so oh that's lovely to get a hold of and it just slots into there look it's like um it's got a little bit of a shape on the end there look just slopes nicely oh i like that 
uh, we've got our little leaves. I just thought the shape of the apple was just a little bit of fun. Great for doing um, smaller amounts of drills. Sometimes if I'm doing um, a diamond painting with a lot of one colour and I think, oh, I've, I've had enough of just doing all that big colour. I'm just going to do some smaller colours. I like to have just a smaller tray on hand. I can just put these, you know, say there's only maybe a little tiny packet, about 50 or whatever of the drills, and I can just put the smaller ones in this one. So I'm not having to empty out my drills from my big tray that have got the big amount in. I can still, you know, keep that one as it is um, and just use these. But yeah, I just thought this was really sweet and I love the colour. It's a definite nice pale apple green. Do you think that was golden delicious? And the leaves are all shaped on the top as well. It's nice and lightweight, but it's got some really high sides. Look, can you see the sides? That's going to be pretty good for uh, drills there. Let me grab some drills. We always like to have a little bit of a play. Uh, oh, these are the containers, look, that I've still got from when I did my witch drill. Which container holds the most drills? Uh, and there's 1,200 in this one. <laughs> So we'll just put a few into here. Okay, give them the good old shape to get them lined up. Oh yeah, they've all gone nicely the right way around. I don't know why I've picked black because I can never see which way around up there. But no, I can see with that because I can see all the rounded ones there. And yep, they'll line up nicely if you're using a multi-placer. Albeit if you're using a smaller tray um, for, small, for smaller amounts of gems, you tend not to be using a multi-placer because they tend to be more the little sort of confetti bits dotted about, don't they? Great for special drills as well if you're doing a special drill project. So yep, they all nicely line up, right? Why I picked this one to put them back into, I don't know, because these are my least favourite because it's one of the narrower openings. And I tend to be quite a spiller, but we'll see. Let's just give them a tap and put them back in there. Come on, everybody out. Oops. What I tend to do with any new trays is just rub. Um, I mean, this isn't the best way to do this anyway. Up, uh, up in the air. <laughs> Trying to film it as well. Uh, just rub a... Oh, look, that one's dropped out. That was my fault. Uh, rub uh, an anti-static sheet across the top. Um, oops, just put that in there. And it just makes this a little bit more drill friendly, shall we say. So it stops any static and stops them sticking. Uh, just tumble dry sheet, anti-static sheet, whatever you've got. So I tend to use that with those. So yeah, that's just a nice stinky little doodad, as I would call it. I do like the little stopper though, rather than it being straight, we've got that just a little bit. If I bend a curve on it there, look. It fits nicely as well. It's quite a nice little handle to hold it with. <laughs> so uh, that one was $1.99. So if you're at a point where you're wanting to um, order an extra item to say, you know, you need 10 items to get your money off or you're just a couple of dollars short of getting your $30 to get your free gift, just have a look at these. I know I always say it, but uh, I do like looking at the little bits and pieces to see what there is. So that's our lovely little green apple. Let me just pop that box over there. Okay, and then look at this one. This is fab. And uh, uh, yeah, it is a special drill, uh, but I just saw it and I thought I like that. I'm going to have to have it. And it is uh, me, as it were. <laughs> Okay, so it is a 30 by 40, and it's a partial special. Oh, and look at the specials on that. Wow. Oh, it's all crystals as well. Oh, we've got a hot pink. Yay. We've got to have a hot pink. Pen butt and wax. Okay. And it is. Look at that. It is stunning. So I say it's me. Try and get it without any glare on. I say it's me because I am a Leo, because I'm born in July, so that is my birth sign. Um, it's not one of the Zodiac collection. There is a, quite a few Zodiac collections out at the minute. Uh, if you have a look on paint somewhere, they do have quite a few of them as well. But yeah, this is a lion, and I just thought that is going to be fantastic. I just love the way all the lines coming around the mane and the face. That is going to look fantastic when it's done. And then we've got all these teardrops around. 
so yeah and on the black background i normally don't like a plain background but i think this one with it being a plain black and then all the sparkle on top that is going to look that's a real good uh, view of it actually you can see the different color variations on it as well so there is only nine different colors and gems on this one um, a quick flatten out oops okay do this and do this this way this way oops that wasn't very good was it how not to flatten a diamond painting by liz number 364 okay so look at that it just looks so regal he's got his chin up and he's looking out proud on everything yay love this okay let's have a look at those gems I nearly left the hot pink in the packet. What am I thinking? So we have some little teeny tiny teardrops. Where did the pink teardrops go? Number eight. Okay. Oh my goodness me. Do you know, it's taken me about 20 minutes to find them. Can you just see, look, this tall little teeny tiny number eight's just there. <laughs> it's on its nose end. So it's got a little pink nose end. <laughs> So that's why he's got a hot pink nose. Whoa. Oh, they're so pretty. You would never expect a lion, a beautiful male lion, king of the jungle, to have a hot pink nose. But there you are. He has a hot pink nose. So let's have a look at the rest of his friends here. Oh, there's a lot of them as well. These packets are really full. So this isn't going to be one of the quick special drills because there's quite a lot of drills doing all these straight lines along here okay so we have some lovely silver and a bronzy color are they both the same they are so we have two packets of like the deep chestnuty bronze color there and then are they both the same as well they are so that's a little bit lighter brownie bronzy color there two packs of those a little pack of your standard black and some little mid pink colours. Some larger round blacks. Are they his eyes? Do we? Yep, they're number six, which is F. So, yeah, well, I mean, we only actually need, oh no, we've got one there. <clears throat> so we've got, oh, they've, they've sort of like highlighted the mouth and the tip of the nose with the black rounds as well and oh look we've got his ears oh quite quite a few of those <clears throat> i was just thinking we didn't need many of those but there's more than i thought but that is still a very big packet of them some little teeny tiny silver teardrops and then ah oh, wow look at that we've got the fire red teardrops with the iridescent coating on and that's what's going to be in between the main so <clears throat> That's your main colours, the two sort of bronzy colours. And then those are going to be sort of spaced out in between. And those will take on more of the brown colour. Although they look very sort of pinky, orangey, red in there, this light, with them being in the packet on their own. Once they get with the other gems, they do take on another colour. So, yeah, look at those. I <gasps> love them. I do like my specials. So he's going to be super to do. So I'll see if I can get him done before July. And I might put him on the wall for my birthday month. Uh, just give him a bit of a treat. Sorry about the glare. As I say, it is a little bit dark in here today. Uh, yes. I should have well, filming in the dark. <laughs> you know, I can't believe the weather. They said it was going to be 17 degrees centigrade today. It's been like... 12 and 13 highs i think we maybe got up to a 14 mid time yesterday but uh, yeah uh, it's supposed to be 17 today and it's very windy looks like it's going to rain and rain and it's very dark but anyway that's my woes <laughs> but at least i've got my diamond paintings to do so it doesn't matter what the weather's doing outside i can just sit and be happy inside Okay, so we've had out the gorgeous lion. That is so regal. I just love the way the pose with his head just tilting upwards. And he just looks, nothing's going to faze me today. I'm a happy lion. We've got our gorgeous little apple tray. 
And then this is our great fun little tumbler. Okay, well, a huge thank you to Paint Somewhere for sending me these. They're absolutely wonderful. Uh, I'm really, really pleased with this. I'm so pleased I got it because you do see these new things come out and you do think, mm, what they're going to be like, what they're going to be like. Uh, but yeah, I'm really pleased with this. I think this is going to be very, very useful. Uh, and I do envisage getting quite a few more of them. Yay! <laughs> Okay, well, if you've enjoyed looking at these with me, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next and see these completed, if you press the subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you won't miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.